Hi and welcome to the stream. So, I don't know how much time we have, but I guess we can try to reflect on yesterday's match and maybe maybe take it a bit slow um, going forward. I feel like we were trying to do too much too fast, as usual. So. We do not have um, stuff for comparison just yet. And I think this is uh, vital going forward. We need stuff that can provide us with feedback. Also, um, some of the players here might leave, so we need replacements for them. And we need a special shortlist for players that are viable. Or candidates, really. But the candidates list is Given the circumstances of the club, this means United Kingdom plus, you know, those islands, Bermuda and so on. Um, whatever it's called. In fact, let's look that up. So, we're in Wales. Blah, blah. They're all overseas. So, everybody that falls under Overseas Territories Act. All of these are okay. So I guess the United Kingdom itself and those. So those are okay without a work, per work permit. And then um, we also know that registration might be a problem going forward. But we've got an exception, I think, for players under 21. Exactly. So, basically, if we sign players up to a maximum age of 20, out of the um, overseas, whatever it, in its name was, act, I will learn it at some point. Overseas Territories Act. Sure. And then we should be fine. And the entire rest of, of the shortlist, whatever we had here, can go, basically. Or we can just repopulate that list. Can we get rid of the entire list? I don't think so. We can get rid of all players on that list that are um, above a certain age threshold though, right? So say the threshold is 21. Oh no, it's the other way around. So we want to delete everyone that is 22 or above. Those can go. 637 players. Lists. Last menu it is, sure. I kept looking somewhere else. So they can be removed. What about these? I think I had them all selected. For some reason, they're still on the list. Well, let's try that again. There we go. Alright, so who's left? 222 players. From a few nations that we cannot use. So what I I guess we can I 
If the nationality is not Welsh. Yeah, we can we can go uh, with with the nationality clause here. We can abuse this a little bit. Well, it's not not abusing really. Menu is really small. It shouldn't be. Should be Northern Irish, because um those those we want to keep, right? It shouldn't be Irish. Shouldn't be where's English? What? Oh, it's up here. English. And it shouldn't be Scottish. Is there anyone I forgot? Probably. No, it's gonna be fun. Where the hell is Bermuda? Burundian. So obviously I don't know about all the overseas, overseas territories. Um, nations. So I guess we will remove those two. Okay, let's have a look through. Um, this is 155 players. Still. In case we recognize any nationality here. A lot of Argentinians. This is really sad. So yeah, let's remove all of these. I guess this clause can go. We cannot, um, we cannot give them a work permit, so there's no use keeping them around, even though they might be good, or they might have a good potential. It doesn't work. And now, what's left is 76 players that are young enough and potentially um, at, at least capable to play for us. For example, he's Kenyan, but he's got English session, uh, nationality too, so he might be um, he might get a work permit. Now we can ask ourselves, okay, what do we need? And I do not think we... So we cannot go about this with the scouting knowledge, I think. What comes to mind immediately though is um, we can have a look for players in here that have good personality. Because really the skill level will be, I, I guess most of the time it will be acceptable for us. So I just want to see if there's players with good personality in here that we might have missed. Darren Evans for example. He's a 20 year old, center back. Not great, but this is okay. Um, I, I guess with passing 9 it's not that great. But overall, um, this looks like a decent signing for us. He played a lot of matches. He might stand a chance. So let's bring him in. Maybe we can find out if he's suspic suspicious to injury or something like this. That would be great.
No model citizens, what a surprise. And in case you were wonder wondering, yes, my mouse wheel is still broken. So, um, I don't know when a new one arrives. No professionals. We not might not know uh, most of the personalities though. No, I've seen him. So he tries to play way out of trouble. That's that's a bit of a no go for me. Unflappable media friendly alongside the spirited personality. Hmm. That's decent pressure, decent professionalism, and really good temperament. So I guess that's a viable signing. Um. Well, he's 19, so um, he, he might be a bit old at this point. But we can still compare him to, for example, wherever. Um, where's that guy? Here. Uh, for example, to Sean McCaffrey. It's not like I'm really annoyed by his performances so far, or um, overall by anything he's done. The fans also like the player, so I guess he will stay for a while. Yeah. Also, what's really interesting to me, so I just thought about this, um, I guess throughout the day or maybe tonight, I don't know. Last night, that is. Mm. We've got lots of money here at the club, but that money isn't spent. It's not spent anywhere. So we don't need to transfer budget. And we don't need a wage budget. At least for now. So I guess, given the circumstances, maybe it would be a good idea to increase spending in the wage budget. Forget about a transfer budget altogether, but no, the other way around, like this. Because I do not think we will pay a transfer fee anytime soon. That said, the wage budget is uh, this is entirely overblown for the club. Um, but maybe it would allow us to sign part-time players on something else than uh, a non-contract. I'm not sure if they will, they will uh, part with the non-contract stuff um, at all, though. And in fact, um, we should probably have a look here. How the others do. Yeah, they have players on decent contracts here. This is entirely non-contract based. Same as they. There's a lot of U19 players. Oh, sorry. I wanted to do this. 
This is us. There's two players in here that are on a part-time contract. Well, one's a youth contract, though. None at all. There's a few more here. But it seems like it's definitely possible. At least according to the league, right? So it must have to do with money. I'm just gonna experiment with Shea uh, Kirk. So I don't think he needs to go, but in case he does, it's not it's not horrible. Say he is a star player for whatever reason. There's nothing that we can do about the contract type. So I guess there's not enough money. Do we know about the other club's wage budgets? Season preview should tell us, right? We should, at least we know about the sponsorship income, let's put it that way. So, we have 7.5k, but rather down the list. Those up here though. What's this? Camprian and Kledach. This, uh, this looks like um, sponsorship income um, at least uh, could be a proxy for um, the contract type. So it must be about money at some point. I don't know why 140k isn't enough though. So I guess... I guess we will do it like this. We will ramp up the wage budget to, I don't know, 950. Confirm this. Now, um, I do not want to spend money I do not have to part with. But still, we will try to give at least the important players contracts that they cannot be... Um, they cannot be bought, um, well, I, I cannot finish that phrase, but you know, um, I don't want to lose them for nothing. I think the last game we lost due to a penalty. It was really undeserved. Well, the penalty was deserved um, entirely, and the player will not play again, at least not next game, if I can help it. That's probably the one that scored the penalty, is it? No, it's a goalkeeper. That's even worse. <sighs> I don't know Oli Chemis. And I do not think we will bring him in. I think Harry Martin is uh, somewhat important for the club. I wouldn't necessarily say that we absolutely need him. But we do not have a replacement. That said, it's not like I can uh, 
have a talk about the price. I have no intent to sell him, but uh, what's my intent worth? Not much. Okay, so apparently we were not lucky. I do not agree. Well, they, they, sorry, they were not lucky. You know, it's been a hell of a day. What I realized though, in recent games, so Cloyd didn't exactly pull out the roots just yet. If I look at this overall, this doesn't seem, at, at least it doesn't seem like it works. And my next problem here is we do not look like we are have very fast or very good defenders. But overall, so Morgan James, for example. For this level, he looks like he's a decent central defender. Can we highlight this? Sure. Um, he looks like he's a decent central defender for this level. And he should be able to defend most of the, of the opponent's players. Um, it might be about pace sometimes, but in a deeper formation he should be able to, to cope with most of what what's coming. Jones, well, not so much. And the weaknesses are all over the place, but I'm not, a, not gonna blame him. And now I keep looking for... there he is. So Luke Thomas is also available. I I guess he should be able to cope with most things to a degree. And apparently he doesn't like the fact that he trains final third training. So uh, why? I I guess defensive positioning it is. I will need to look through these anyway. Um So sort of a deeper defensive formation and some passing into space might just work given the acceleration pa and pace of uh, Chris Johns but also the one of Sean McCaffrey and we need more than one formation the balanced approach is well just balanced that's cool if we can um, if we can exploit something that doesn't depend on mentality um, within the opponent's squad or um, I don't know we have a, re uh, a great strength somewhere that said we don't if we look at these two this is the, this is the best we have in terms of passing all of a sudden you know, nine points of passing sure. I guess that's the strength. It's not a wee big one though. Okay. I also need to have a look at the phone. Yeah, so um, the plan is that I stream until um, something more important comes up and something more important is um, I want to do dinner today. But I don't know when, just yet. 
so I'll be informed and uh, then maybe I, I will wrap up the stream um, in a rather fast manner. We'll see. So, say we go with a cautious mentality here. Shorter passing is still fine. Slightly to lower tempo is still fine for me. In transition, they have a really bad passing today. Yeah. Kicking's bad, passing's bad. He's a bit better, I guess. And he might just play in the next game. Mr. Masaro. Passing 6, throwing 7, kicking 6. I, gu I guess that counts as being good or acceptable in this league. Still. Less risky passing is probably a good idea. And out of possession. We could drop a bit deeper at least. Now, considering triggering the press, stamina is good. Stamina is okay ish. That's not great. He's okay. He's okay. He is not. His stamina isn't good, but he's got the work rate at least. And with these up front... Well, we might just need to change some things. Or the rest of the team needs to carry um, the, the more attacking players. So... Thanks for the follow. Oh, thank you very much. And welcome to the stream. <laughs> I'm doing fine. Thank you very much. Um, it's been a hell of a day. So what brings you to the stream? And obviously tell us about your day too. So I was thinking about uh, tricking the press more often here. The acceleration 14 is really... that's a lot. Um, you can take a number. So I'm, I'm happy that you're doing good, but there is no sales pitch to be had here. And uh, this comes on, uh, this comes uh, up as a topic uh, time and time again. Um, so um, yeah, uh, I don't want to waste your time. Um, there's like 15 people that uh, want to sell graphic uh, assets and uh, there's absolutely zero euros to be had because um, this is not my job. So, um, yeah, I guess that answers the question. Hopefully in a, in a friendly manner, but also in one that's definitive enough uh, for you to uh, comprehend it. In case that makes any sense. Um, I understand that this is your job, but it will not work here. Um. 
Yeah, thank you very much for understanding and uh, have a good day. You're welcome to um, join anytime. But I, I guess you have stuff to do, right? So <laughs> maybe see you uh, another time. All right, going back to streaming. So at least we find we've got scouts that want to come over. I'm not excited by the prospect of having these. But this is the level we can look for. This gives us something. So say we find a scout that is level uh, or uh, has judging player ability and potential 4 and 4 or something like this. That would be okay, I guess. Because, sure, Wales and England. How's the knowledge of this club? That's under scouting, probably. And we've got unrest unrestricted knowledge in UK and Ireland. Oh no, in Wales. In Wales and in England. So, we could use somebody that has scouting knowledge in Northern Ireland, Ireland and Scotland, first and foremost. Where does the English one come from? Oh, performance analyst provides that. Great. So, yeah. Um, the both Ireland's, um, just to be uh, politically incorrect, um, for both sides, I guess, if the the conflict is still a thing, and I think that will last for yet another hundred years, and uh, Scotland. So we look for a scout. I don't know if this is possible, but let's let's try. We look for a scout that has attributes 5 points at most I realize that this is weird but we need to find out who would be who would be willing to work for us at all and preferably his nationality is not Welsh but for example Scottish there's one a 36 year old scout with horrible scouting knowledge, but he brings along, well, with, with horrible, horrible uh, judging player ability and potential, but he brings along uh, Scottish and English scouting knowledge. And at this point in time, this is all I want. Um, also, I want to see what, what kind of wages we're talking here. <laughs> Okay, I guess that can happen. There's a lot of guys that have English scouting knowledge. This is the wrong... There we go. I do not have a particular um, preference here. I just want to know what kind of money we're talking. If anyone is willing to join us at all. Can we do it the other way around? Let's just pick one that has one one. No. I guess nobody wants to come. So we need to go with the ad. Um, obviously I, I could just filter here um, once I find an assistant manager. But, you know, that requires us to find a, an assistant manager. So, there's the problem. And yet for the assistant manager didn't uh, bring up anyone else either. Um, so, he has scouting knowledge in Wales and Angola. I guess Angola is a plus. He has scouting knowledge in Wales only. Carrington, Owen, <laughs> to be, to be abrupt about it, um, 
I do not think we need anyone that has uh, scouting knowledge in England. Yeah. Well, in, in, in England neither. But um, we do not need anyone that has scouting knowledge in Wales. Because we are in Wales, somebody will have scouting knowledge in Wales. This guy brings along scouting knowledge in Angola. So, I guess why not? He's willing to work for us, let's see how, how much... Wow. If this is all there is to it, I guess we're, we're settled. We can do this. So, um, this is the money. <laughs> we are talking here. Let's give him a one-year uh, contract and move on. Come on, you d you will do it for five, won't you? Okay, fine. Six it is. And there was somebody with... Uh... No, Eng England was the only other ra land, right? But we got that covered with the performance analyst. In case we don't, uh, we just bring along uh, another Englishman. That's one point. And um, in case there's job offers, or no, if in case there's open positions that are not covered yet, um, we will uh, try to cover them too by just putting announcements in the newspaper or somewhere on a website, I guess. Um, that we search, uh, well, that we are in search for somebody um, to uh, to do these positions, because um, the wages are really low, and we've got 140k in the bank, so I guess we can afford that. But the stuff will be really, really horrible, quality-wise. So, no worries about that. And I need chocolate. I need to see if there's still chocolate available. I guess there is. Always looking in the top drawer too. I'm the one who puts it, uh, to, who puts it in, the, in the bottom drawer of the two. So, stuff. We've written for everybody but a coach. And I will... I guess I will immediately... Given the prices of these, I will immediately call for another coach. And an official confirmation of performance analyst here. That's it. Nothing else with the board. Uh, sure, I will also use a director of football if this is the amount of money we pay for them. A chief scout, why not? And a recruitment analyst. Because apparently uh, we can use one. And also we can use a head physio. And of course I will ask for um, a physio for the U19. All of this might be declined. Doesn't matter though. It's not like we can annoy the board, right? And if we can, uh, we might as well do it. They might grant us uh, the odd position here. And it's always better to have the, the possibility to sign somebody there than the other way around. There's a few trials that finished, so he's unambitious. Mm. I do not think that this is much better than what we have, but we might compare him to... What's his name? I will learn them. Chris Johns. So Chris Johns is faster and a bit more physical. 
I I don't think it's worth it. That said, Chris Jones is 21. And, well, Cassidy is unambitious too. So, I don't know. Not, not a good signing. I don't think this is a good goalkeeper. We've got a average goalkeeper available. There's, I, I just skipped over this guy. He's unambitious, he's got good finishing. We've got enough of this, this kind of player. Good finishing and the rest is, uh, well, rock bottom more or less. This looks better. He's a decent passer. And to have decent passers available in the squad is probably one way um, to make it in this league. So, if this is all we can find, why not? Also, teamwork and work rate aren't that bad. I feel like this is a this might be a signing that we go for. Because it's a 17-year-old. What can happen? Non-contract for zero euros and he goes to the U19. So... Yeah, I prefer professional personality here, but it's not available. Oh, never mind. This is horrible. I'll just check this. Because, you know, we've got the time. Seven points determination. And he's volatile, media friendly, and... Outspoken? Volatile, media friendly, and confrontational. There it is. Hmm. So, this guy has ambition 1 to 14, loyalty 1 to 14, pressure 4 to 20, which is a slight positive, professionalism 5 to 14, which is just middle of the road. Sportsmanship 1 to 7, which I don't care about. Temperament 3 to 6, and controversy 1 to 14. Not a great personality, but professionalism is not the problem. So, this would be our enfant terrible if we want him. That said, well, I don't know. He's got good passing and all, and, and so on. I can definitely see, say, either a playmaker or maybe a box, given the work rate and the teamwork. This this might also do as a box-to-box -box midfielder, not a defender though. Some Somebody in central midfield. Um, with tackling five, I don't think this is viable. Also, he's not strong. So... More of a central midfielder and a passer. But I, I think we... Never mind, that settles it. <laughs> this is fantastic. Yeah, he wants money. Mm. I don't care though. He will not get money. There. So, obviously his personality needs to change a little bit, but as long as the, we don't overload the U19 squad with that kind of uh, player, I, I think we're fine. This... This is a bit lacking. The eccentricity is concerning to me. I don't like eccentric goalkeepers. The one-on-ones aren't great. Distribution isn't wonderful. He punches the ball and rushes out. I don't like that either. The agility is good. And, well, composure isn't that great. So, we don't have another goalkeeper in the U7, uh, U19. So, I guess we could try. But I'm not that convinced. You back it. If not for the defensive attributes, that would be a, uh, a wing back for me. But 
with these attributes. I guess that's okay-ish, but I'm not I'm not convinced. And obviously we can sign all of these and then just uh, throw them out, but I don't I don't want to do that. This is more of a poacher type. We've got enough of the enough of these, I think. He has a horrible att attitude. Yeah. So I I guess we gotta draw a line somewhere. He's a balanced player, not a good passer. His physicals are okay, but he's well. He's not even small. He's lightweight. Joshua McConville. Not that fast. Good stamina, teamwork, and work rate, though. Is there anything else to his personality? He's media friendly. So, this is a box standard personality, I think. Yeah, media friendly only. Where is it? Here. That says, uh, I can be shaped into something, but I'm not great at anything, personality-wise. Uh, well, we know that professionalism is at least five, so I guess that's a plus. Also, we do not have anyone to cover that position in the youth team, so I guess that's okay. And he doesn't need to be paid. Chris Wallace is unambitious. That's not great. My problem here is he's really slow, the unambitious personality. Well, not so much the unambitious itself, but if... God, no. I'd rather have somebody that can dribble and is a bit faster. That said, a right footed player on the left wing is wonderful for, for me, um, in particular, um, for the 4 3 3 that we are prone to play, apparently. So I guess I'm biased. And this one, I don't like this either. Technicals are lacking, and there's a, a few concerning uh, ones in, in the attribute sample. And this is a trade that I do not want on a on a central midfielder. That said, he could be a Metzala. Um, unambitious and level-headed is not the worst of it, is it? I realize that an ambitious is a negative personality, but... Where is it? So... He's unambitious and level-headed. If I can find it, there it is. That implies really bad ambition, obviously. Um, professionalism, professionalism 5 to 20 and loyalty 11 to 20. That's not bad. It looks like a horrible personality, but in fact it isn't. Sure, the ambition's missing. So, that's a minus. But the professionalism is above average, at least. He's the small, not that fast, but technically not that ungifted player in midfield. I think Metzala would do for him. You will not get paid. Fantastic. We sold 34 tickets for the season.
and now we will get feedback from the board feedback from the board will be no no and by the way no and that will uh, that will ask us are you you know here we go oh never mind i will i will take that back so no performance performance analysts allowed i i guess we have one um so i don't know now we can employ two under 19 coaches and we can have a physio in the u19 okay so let's go with an ad for all that stuff there's a coach down here oh yeah they they employed uh, they they found one right so we need a head coach and we need an assistant coach i guess And this should be the regular U19 physio. It was fun so far. If only we had a preseason to uh, determine this stuff. This is for the regular physio. He's a casual. Under no circumstance will I employ a casual. Even if his physiotherapy is superior by a whopping point. Yeah, I think the choice here is uh, rather clear. I will go with this guy. They are all Welsh, so scouting knowledge is not a thing. And even if it was, they're all. Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna look through these. But um, I think they are all Welsh. And have no scouting knowledge whatsoever. Anywhere else. Not that it matters much. So I guess Nathan Evans is the best we can have as a physio. Four points physiotherapy. We will find other stuff at some point. But... This also looks fine wage-wise. Well, in that case, we will employ you for eight. I, I think this is the first time I've come to a club where money is not a problem. Because either the people want to work for us and they, they do not want money anyway, or, um, you know, they don't come at all. Yusuf Alan. Oh, that's a Swedish striker that is probably on our short list. Yeah. So, yes, I would be interested in this guy. But at this point... Uh-huh. At this point, we could actually try to sign somebody like this. I'm quite confused. The problem is he's Swedish. With Turkish second nationality, which is... Not acceptable. He will not get a work permit. So, let's get rid of him. But that reminds me, we should probably have a look at the regular shortlist too. Forget about all this stuff. There's somebody on the regular shortlist that... Well, there's a lot of Swedes up here. For some reason. 
And apparently we put some other players here. <laughs> oh. They get added to the shortlist immediately once we offer them a contract. Great. He's from France. Hi Mies, welcome back to the stream. I also saw you uh, you joined the Discord server. So I guess welcome there too. Um, even though um, the, the Discord is rather deserted right now. But uh, obviously we can have a, a discussion there from time to time. So yeah. Um, for now, it's more or less uh, for the announcements, and maybe um, if somebody shoots a, yeah, a nice clip or something. I just uh, I just thought that it would be nice to provide a space to talk about uh, about the safe or your safes, really, in case you're uh, you know, that's something you want to do there. This guy. So 70, so I, I do not remember this one. But he's under contract. What about a 31 year old goalkeeper? <laughs> you, you didn't miss out on that much, I think. Um, but uh, I, I guess that answers the question who, who's responsible for uh, the for the playing time on YouTube or may, if, if you did it here on Twitch then here on Twitch oh. I just want to share one detail with you so for all the, the ads that um, I'm trying to include to get the pre-roll ads off um, just because this is the way Twitch works apparently so as a, as a content, content creator you are either forced to have pre-roll ads so everybody joining the stream is uh, forced to watch uh, watch ads or you include them yourself in case there's downtime so you force them to watch it uh, once there's a downtime uh, I guess I fall into the second category now because um, I despise ads and well in in that case at least you can uh, you, you can mute the stuff and so on. So I just want to report for Sunday the advertisements earned a whopping 7 cents entirely. That's all of it. So if it's really annoying to you all all this ad stuff Please be um, very confident that it's not about the money. I do not earn much money with this. <laughs> so if, if it were um, with me, I would uh, rather avoid those um, in, in entirety, but I cannot. Well, I can, I can avoid, uh, you know, showing ads here, but then you've got the pre-roll ads, so yeah. Mm. That's not possible here, though. Um, I, I I think um, the best thing I figured out right now is to run a net whenever I go AFK. So um, just trying to simulate this, right? Once I do this, I will run an net immediately, just to get um, to get rid of the pre-roll ads. And uh, for every minute of ads you run on the stream, there's 20 minutes um, of pre-roll ads off. I think I, I, at least I think this is how it works. So you want to run three minutes of ads per hour to get pre-roll ads off immediately. And the easiest way to do this is to, is to go AFK for three minutes from time to time and just do, I don't know, get some fresh water or something, whatever, and run the ads there. Because in that case, at least nobody misses out on the content. So I guess that's the concept now. Yeah, 
And uh, just just to be abundantly clear about this, if I could, I would prefer not to run ads at all because it doesn't earn money. Um, so it's not not even like there's a big incentive, right? Well, um, we'll see. The problem is uh, now everybody's uh, <laughs> is at the end of their birthday apparently, and viewership increases. But uh, I just got a break to you. Um, I wanted to do the cooking today, so um, once my girlfriend comes home, um, I will probably have a talk with her and uh, do the cooking. I might do a second stream later on, maybe. I don't know yet, and we might not get to a game now. Uh, Seven Sisters is on the same league as us, so, um... Well, I, I guess you will be spoiled here um, about the result. Or you have to, I don't know, close your eyes from time to time. Finn Evans is gone. Welcome to the non-contract world, so we need a left back immediately. And Shakespeare is gone too. This is fan not fantastic. This is horrible. Finn Evans was uh, one of the better personalities in the squad. Yeah. That didn't go well. So is there somebody that we can put in here? I guess we couldn't put George... Jenkins in yeah, one. Just the one against Seven Sisters. <sighs> well, m the problem is if we put in a 17 year old that is resolute or spirited. I guess the spirited one can be. We're, we're okay if he um, becomes a professional player, right? That's not a big thing. That's okay for us. And the team leader is fairly pro. Um, <laughs> it might get even worse. Because we've done an hour now of this stream. And... There probably will not be a game today. Because I just don't have the half an hour of uh, of time. So not in this stream in any in any case. Um, yeah. So um, my management just told me. Um, she'll be here around 7. It's not her fault though. So this is, this is on me. Um, so uh, we will do another 10 or 15 minutes and uh, once the door opens I will go out and uh, do the cooking. I might do another stream uh, in the evening um, or I might not and just do another one tomorrow. That said, tomorrow I'm in home office so um, you can expect uh, tomorrow's stream to start a bit earlier. Um, so around 5 maybe. Um, if, if I get to it, that is. Yeah, um, we had a player in here that's resolute, and we've got a casual in here. I guess... The casual is hopeless anyway. I really just want to get rid of him. Yeah, I don't know. Um, n none of these is, is worthy of a, of a mentoring group, I think. But um, my problem now is, once the squad has been registered for the competition, what happens to those that leave? What happens to the players that, that left us for another club that we registered? Are those spots taken? Can we re-register somebody else? How does this work? Does anyone know? Because 
I don't think I ever played in a league that had registration rules that were, you know, a problem. But I want to make sure. Hmm. My trash can is gone. Mm, I don't know. I don't know about the m a menu or something. Maybe. Well, now we need a new wise captain. Okay, that's true. So, obviously Morgan James would make a good one. Well, uh, strictly from the leadership and uh, stuff perspective. Yeah, leadership and teamwork are good in his case. Sure. He'll be vice captain. I think we demoted him from being vice captain like f two weeks ago, so he can have it back. Alright, thank you very much. I will have a look. You can go squad and on the top on left, there it is. So I guess we cannot reach ah, we cannot register um players. Later on, is that it? At, at some point we cannot register new players. So we need to do with the players that are available or um, at the age of 20 or young at, uh, you know, here. So basically they need to be uh, below 21 in case we want to bring them in uh, later. Everybody else we can just keep. Uh, deadline is... This is in the league rules. I saw that. Also, ne never mind the phone. I put it on, uh, in, in case you hear this. Um, phone's loud because I wanted to know um, when my girlfriend comes back. There will be, there will be a, a horror story about the horrible girlfriend at some point on stream. She's really good. Yeah, really nice though. <laughs> And I'm really happy to have her. It also tells us in the top left. In brackets. Where? I'm not sure I get it. I might be blind though. So at max we can register 25 players. There's no dates here though. Oh. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, this is tiny. Yeah, sure. Um, You're right. So, um... Obviously, uh, I was. Uh, I didn't see this. I don't want to be disrespectful of uh, people that have, uh, you know, impaired vision, but um, I didn't see it. Sure, um, deadline is in in uh, September. Yeah, um, but the stream is uh, 1440p. I think um, this is uploaded in in the resolution. Uh, screen resolution that is uh, on on my PC too.
Yeah, sure, sure. That makes sense. Okay, so what's the result here? Well, the result is, first of all, we need players that are trained by Tavswell for three years before the 21st birthday. So 17 year olds is definitely our hunting ground, just because uh, we need them to be homegrown. Is there an exception for homegrown players though? No, work permits are different. I, I, I guess that stuff still applies, yeah. So, looking at the squad planner, we've got decent choices on left back position. It's four though. No, it's eight, eight homegrown players, right? Yeah, and we do not have them on a long term contract. That's a problem. They are all on non contract, so they can be poached any time. Um, we definitely need a secondary keeper. And in this situation, I'm willing to do something really stupid. We know a keeper that they will not be able to poach anytime soon. This guy. Paul Goldman. He is not a great keeper. But at least they will not take him. And he's Irish. So he doesn't need a work permit. He's Irish and English. That should be fine. Also, he's really rubbish, so I guess, um... Yeah, whatever. We cannot do anything about this. So, I wanna loan him in. I don't know, as a breakthrough prospect. Hopefully. We will not play with a sweeper keeper, but um, I'm gonna deselect that any- well. There we go. So this would uh, give us a goalkeeper. Yeah, sure. In in case he accepts that, that is. This would give us a goalkeeper that we know of, that has obvious weaknesses, but we're talking back up here. I don't care much about his performances, I just want to have a goalkeeper available. Lulz. They pay him 1k per week, by the way. This is like 10 times what we got paid. So if you have any idea on how to how to get them to agree to other contracts that would be an idea uh, well that would be uh, of interest I guess That said uh, we can reflect on this for quite some time um, I'm sorry to cut this one short um, maybe um, I'll, I'll keep you posted um, maybe I'll get to do another one hour stream or you know, two hour stream this evening. But um, first of all, I, I'm gonna have dinner and uh, cooking and so on. So we will not do this game either. Um, is there, um, I don't know, anything on your mind um, prior to wrapping up this stream? Um, something along the lines, um, I don't know, how do you plan to do X, Y, Z? or um, ideas that you want to share um, especially given the fact that our best players will always uh, go away or we'll deal with stuff in fact that's probably a really good idea so six people that wanted to be fitness coach look at those they are really horrible every single one of them this is uh, not great yeah neither is mine and apparently uh, Everybody else is here too. 
So I'm not sure if we need a fitness coach right now. Like, I guess we need one, yes. But I will need the coaching uh, star calculator here to find out. And obviously the personality is not shown, so I need to click through these. Craig Thomas, balanced. They are all balanced, are they? Yeah, they are all balanced. So let's bring up the star calculator. If I can find the correct one. There's a few of these and some of them are really annoying to use. So did I use fmcalc.com? Um, yes, it does. Um, it it does because um, we want to see the well the personality or the or the star rating of the coach. The star rating of the coach is rather easy to calculate. So this is I think uh, two uh, two times fitness coaching. Yeah, it does. Um, so it's two time fitness coaching plus uh, every single one of these um, attributes here, and the aggregate score is um, it determines the rating. There's like thresholds for um, for the star rating, but the star rating is just a proxy, if you want to put it that way. The real value matters. So in this case, this is a six plus six plus seven, so nineteen. The overall overall rating, and this one says. 18? I, I guess I don't need a calculator, I can do this in my, uh, at the top of my head. So if a, if a coach has really good mentals, but really bad uh, fitness uh, coaching in this case, he might still be better than somebody with good fitness coach, uh, coaching and really bad mentals. So seen from that perspective, it's interesting. For example, this one has, um, no, they don't, they count less. Um, they are, the, uh, so mantles are counted once, um, I think, and hopefully I don't confuse this now. M mantles count once, and the other attributes count twice. Let me just put one into the calculator and we will see this. This is 594. Yeah, so this is a one star coach in any uh, case. So he's not great. And given the limited space for coaches, I feel like maybe we can do our fitness coaching ourselves. Remember, we do all the coaches uh, coaching right now. So if we find another coach that does strength and quickness coaching, we might as well find someone that's better than us. So one star will not do. Otherwise, it's just a waste of money. So I guess I'd rather find somebody that has a two star coaching somewhere to replace our, you know, head coach. Awesome. So we will continue this. There's a goalkeeping coach. Goalkeeping coaching might be better. Yeah, but the best attributes is... Uh, that's um, a broad topic, right? But you can determine this with, the, with one of the calculators. And I think this one I like the most. This is one of the better ones. I'll just link this to you. Um, this is one of the better ones, I think. Um, not affiliated with, with anyone uh, in any way there. Um, but due to the fact that you can uh, rearrange the order of the, um, of the attributes, and you can um, type them in, as well as uh, use the plus and minus buttons. So this is rather easy to use. And uh, it has a nice design and, you know... Um, it's clean, at least for me. Um, I don't see any problems there. Also, apparently you can compare coaches and so on. I, I wasn't aware. Uh, 
All right. Um, I will. I, I will just go through these uh, next time out. Um, I will tell you. Um, and at least uh, those uh, that are on the Discord server will uh, get notified um, once I will restart the stream. Um, to be honest, I'm not sure if I will do another one this evening. Um, that said, thanks for watching. And um, we will continue the hunt for stuff. Um, playing as well as non-playing, apparently, later on. And probably the new concept is to sign everyone from the, um, from the British, uh, you know, area. Economic area, o oceanic pact, I guess, whatever it's called, I forgot. Um, so we will try to sign you young players from there and uh, just rotate them throughout the entire season, because this is the only way that we can uh, we can bring in enough players. And r recalling squad reg registration rules, there's one thing that we can do. To avoid uh, all the registration stuff in case we we uh, do not get the homegrown players and so on we do not have to register um, the other well we do not have to to use registered players we can just use 17 to 20 year olds as long as they get a work permit so we can just ignore this in case we play a youngster team which might be possible, because the standard is really crappy. So, um, that's it for today. Well, or for now. Um, see you all later or maybe tomorrow. Have a nice evening, in any case. Bye. Yeah, sure, um, old guys maybe too. But, who knows. Bye.